So what are we doing? So we're both going to turn And here I Welcome to, to Double, double take. take Okay, let's try again That's a double cake Bruh Welcome to Double Take Where consumer Sam and I, Musa, will take you guys through Land Rover's new Defender By the way this interior is very good. So guys, after 40 years of the iconic Rital Defender, here we have finally a new modern perspective on the Defender. So let's have a quick look under the hood, see what we've got. I think nice and clean design. You know, this for example, this plate here covers up all the components inside so you've got a good nice clean surface. The leaf screen at the back, that looks like metal but it isn't, this is plastic inside the hood. And as you can see, when I close, you can see those little piano keys sort of design at the top. It tries to give this little plush design into the, uh, the leaf screen area. The windscreen wipers pop out from that. That's a plastic piece colored according to the body to give it this nice, clean, plush look. And then you've got these really nice, very utilitarian uh, hood louvers here. Again, this is plastic bolted into the top of the hood. Fender has this huge design where it comes all the way to the front and then it wraps around the light as you see you try and flex this it's solid it's not going anywhere look at the size of the fender you've not you won't see anything like this on the cars now i think this design really brings out some character in this car it looks just uh, turn them on very quickly see the leds pop up look at that it looks like a, a face doesn't it very characterful i like that now this is this is all 3D, so you can get in, in, in here with your hands and you can touch this very, very 3D, very, very nice, really cool. Overall, I like this uh, front end. It's um, still got those features, almost giving a nod to the old Defender, but it's not the old Defender. This is the new Defender and you can clearly see that in, in the design here. Okay, let's have a look at the back. So, the vehicle comes in, of course, um, spare wheel and non spare wheel, spare wheel versions. And these spare wheels go up to about 60 kilos in weight. Now this uh, slightly phallic looking um, structure here, that's actually very functional. Very, very functional. There's the female version of that particular thing right here and this is sturdy. So what is that? what that's doing is guiding that, fa that phallic design there to hit this, this part here to always ensure that the tail door is aligned to latch on. It also allows for, if you did take the spare wheel off, that would guide this into there to ensure that you always close the tail door with no problem. And even if there is a little bit of deflection, there's no problem, because this comes with its own latching system. All you have to do, bring it up close, and let it go, and that's locked, all done. So the fuel in here is really nice and rugged. All the materials used are high quality. Um, they're made to be durable. We can see a few scratches here. This is a demo version that the Defender team are doing a meet Defender uh, where we've got this vehicle. Um, when you look at these spaces around here, you can see there's so many spaces you can put stuff. Um, you got. A USB-C charge port here which is really you know, up to date I've not seen that in a vehicle yet uh, we've got a USB-A charge port here and we've got the lighter charger here um, around here you've got so much space even behind the screen it's a floating version so it feels like um, it's almost a pad sitting there instead of a screen everything at the back it's got rubber on it so you know if you put something down it's not going to slip around while you're going off-road, while you're driving around. 
the camera system on this when we turn on the vehicle will show you it's really good um, what it does is you can flick it onto your rear view camera if something's blocking your view if you've got too much stuff in the back uh, I personally find it's better than using the rear view mirror sometimes because you've got the shape of the wheel in the back and the camera doesn't so it just gives you a really crisp view on the rear here we've got some more USB A ports uh, we've got some more charging points here so two USB A ports and then we've got the lighter chargers we've got some space around here as well which is brilliant in terms of storage this vehicle really has a uh, more than you need um, got some storage around here as well on the door, door cards this is a really lovely feature I think where you can see the color of the body on the inside uh, around the doors looking at the carpets you can remove these carpets and then you've got rubber at the bottom you can literally use a jet wash on this vehicle which is really amazing you know it's really built with the heritage of the old Defender so you can take it off road it gets muddy you just give it a nice jet wash and it's clean and you can go on again one of my favorite favorite features in this vehicle are these alpine alpine lights uh, you can see through it it just gives so much more light into this vehicle when you sit in here you feel like you're outdoors because you've got so much view of everything else there we go Consumer Sam is having some struggles fitting in even the biggest cars of the world. That's because you've got the seats right up. Okay, let's go. So this is what it feels like to be the boss of the road. <laughs> You're up high. It's uh, it's nice and smooth. Effortless driving. It feels right. I mean, my arms are comfortable. My back's comfortable. I'm almost just sitting at my home. You know, it doesn't feel like I'm sitting in a car. I've got all the luxuries I need in a car, maybe more. Um, and you can't even tell the speed you're going at. So, gotta keep an eye on the speedometer. It's really smooth drive. It is the ultimate SUV. It's built to go off road. Um, you can feel it amazing on road comfort it looks great looks really futuristic okay so Land Rover Defender what do I think I mean this vehicle is perfect for anyone that wants luxury but not too much wants it to be a utility vehicle wants to go off-road you know it, it gives you it takes all the boxes it might not have the most luxurious materials but durability wise it's brilliant looks wise you know driving this vehicle you feel like the king of the road um, that's not just because of the badge the feel of the vehicle where you're sitting your sitting position even when you're sitting in the passenger seat it feels really really solid and that's what this vehicle is. This vehicle is solid in every aspect. Um, the infotainment system is a great upgrade from what Land Rover have previously um, put out on their vehicles. And it's, uh, I believe it's soon to roll out into all the other vehicles. Uh, and I think it's heading the right way, so which is really positive news. Um, the subtle cues it's taken from its original, you know, father or even grandfather, if you like to say, um, are amazing I mean these bolts and just the color of the exterior coming into the interior so nicely you've got all these grab handles um, the materials I think the vehicles really good other than that it's got all the connection needs um, for a modern vehicle you've got I don't know 10 USB ports in this car you can never go wrong you can never have no um, charge ports for your iPads for your phones it's even got a three pin um, connection at the back so if you're traveling for work and while traveling from one side to the other you need to quickly charge your laptop just throw it in the boot plug it in and uh, by the time you reach your destination it'll be charged and um, so it's it's got really good utility so this this is this is amazing so this is on all Land Rovers upcoming where you just flick that and it turns on the rear view camera instead of the mirror the reason for that is if you've got something in the back you know it just if you've got your views blocked out even right now looking in the rear view 
uh, mirror you can see the tire um, if you need more space you can just flick that and now you've got a clear clean view of the rear which is amazing cool features you've got storage spaces in all places um, on this vehicle you've got a panel roof that opens so you can really you know let the environment come in so yeah now this vehicle is uh it's quite something and it's definitely on wish lists of many people out in the market right now looking to find looking to buy a vehicle of similar nature okay thank you very much